Yo, what's going on everybody? Nelson and Kevin from Hoopin' Live. We have a special video for you guys today. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for this video. So today, we are gonna do a what's in our basketball bag for you guys. Cause I know a lot of you guys are curious to know what we bring in our bag to our hoop sessions or to the gym. I only bring one thing, buckets. Okay, I was gonna say I only bring one thing, is my game. Oh, and buckets. then capital A too, <laughs> A game. I just bring buckets with the S. Yeah, because you know, we all know you don't play defense, so you ain't gonna bring the defense part of it too. <laughs> but you know, man, uh, I'm excited to do this type of video. Uh, I know Kevin is really excited because he has a lot of stuff in his bag. You know, he takes hours and hours and hours for preparation. And, preparation uh, for buckets. First things first, we're gonna go with what bag or backpack that we are rolling with currently. Uh, I got the Kobe Mamba backpack right here. A special friend of mine, Big Kev, got this for my birthday, and it's a very useful backpack, I've got to say. So this is what I'm rolling with. Funny enough, you got a Kobe backpack, I got a LeBron backpack. So I actually picked King this up from- Kobe. <laughs> hey, I'm both a Kobe and a LeBron fan, but I actually picked this up from Ross for 30 bucks, so. That is a and I've been using bang for your buck yeah, backpack. Yeah, and I've been using this for years. This is actually a really good bag, but we'll get into that later. All right, guys, if you're a real hooper, whether you're hooping at the gym, going to the park to hoop, a real hooper carries a basketball with them. Mm -hmm. So let's get into what type of basketball we like to bring and hoop with. Okay. So I like to hoop with the Wilson Evolution guys because this is one of the most common basketballs and I honestly love the feel of the ball. Mm -hmm. And every time you walk in the gym, you're gonna see a bunch of Wilson Evolutions. So it's important to mark your ball too. Right, can't be mad yeah. about that. With me, I'm gonna go a little different. I got the Wuko Premier Professional Basketball Game. Shout out to my boy Jimmy. Uh, he actually, this is his brand. This is actually a really nice basketball. It's kind of like a combination of the Evo and the OTF 1000 Spalding. This ball may not be familiar to you guys, but I'm gonna be bringing you an in-depth basketball review on the Wuko Premier Game Ball. Okay, so I know a lot of you guys don't be wearing your hoop shoes to the gym. So you guys are wondering, what do you wear to the gym or to the park? or even after. With me, I'm just real casual with it. I got my hoop sandals, you know, Nike, Benassi, Lunars, uh, you know, real comfy, real chill. Whether I'm going to the gym park or, you know, anywhere afterwards, I'm kicking it in my sandals. All right, guys, for me, it really depends on the situation. Low key, I'm a sneakerhead, so sometimes I like to flex. I'll be wearing some Jordans, some nice Kobe's on and off the court. It really depends, but sometimes I just might be wearing slides just like Nelson. So mm -hmm. it's, there's nothing consistent with me. So it's either sneakers or sandals, just, or maybe even some crazy heat, it just depends. All right guys, moving on to accessories. There's a lot of little things that we need for hooping but we never pay attention to, which can help us a lot during our game. These things play a really big part when you're gonna go play basketball. So first off, I honestly sweat a lot. So I carry a towel with me. So every time in between pickup games or even when I'm playing a real game, during timeouts, during breaks, I'm wiping off my sweat because my arms get real sweaty, my face gets real sweaty, my hair gets wet. I need a towel to dry myself off. Besides that, I carry pre-wrap, I carry athletic tape, because sometimes I might have a, a tweaked ankle or hurt wrist, and uh, sometimes I need that for extra protection. So another thing I carry is a tennis ball. So you wonder why I'm carrying a tennis ball? No, I'm not working on my dribbling drills and skills and whatnot. You can though, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I'm gonna be like, hey, dribbling, hey, hey, that don't works, yeah. no, yeah. so don't move up. Yeah, we're no, but hand-eye coordination. Yeah, but in reality, guys, the reason I carry a tennis ball is sometimes my foot, the my, the arc of my foot gets real stiff, so I use the tennis ball to roll it out. Another thing I keep with me is actually this hand grip thing that works on your finger strength. So I honestly don't use this that often, but sometimes when it's really cold and my hands are really stiff and cold, I use this to warm up my hands to get a better feel for the ball, and you know, work my hand strength, guys. Yeah. Another thing I keep on me is a pump. You never know, when you leave your ball in your trunk, the, when it's cold, when it's hot, the air expands or it compresses and sometimes your ball feels really flat or super bouncy, so you're gonna need to adjust accordingly. Even though I'm wearing a hat right now, my hair is kinda loose, it's gone down to my eyes, I gotta have extra hair bands so I can hold my hair back so it doesn't get in the way. And one more thing guys, you guys probably don't pay much attention to this, but I carry extra shoelaces because you never know when your shoelace is gonna blow it on you. That's true, I've had that happen to me before. Yeah, if your shoelaces rip on you mid-game, you don't think about this, but you can't really hoop anymore because your shoe is exposed, mm -hmm. right? It's, it's not gonna have the same type of feeling and it's just good to have an extra pair of shoelaces ready. Man, Kev, I didn't know you had that many accessories in your bag because I have a smaller amount of items, but uh, mine are a little different from yours. Uh, starting off to warm up, I have to have a resistance band. You know, I put them around my knees, my ankles to warm up my hips and my legs and my thighs because, you know, you gotta get your legs under you when you be hooping, especially, yeah. you know, I'm trying to have a dunk sesh afterwards or whatnot. 
Uh, in terms of the hair, I feel you. Uh, we both got pretty long hair. Yeah. So, you know, I got to have a, a hair tie. So if I needed to tie it up in a knot or I have a headband where I would just, you know, just put it on right now and, you know, be ready to be hooping. So yeah, I'm ready to go hoop already. So <laughs> that's that. Next up, I have to have my deodorant. Uh, I want to put this on, you know, before I hoop and after I hoop because nobody wants to go out with, you know, smelly armpits or stinking and stuff like that. So I feel like you might need some right now because I've been standing next to you for the next five minutes and... Oh, thanks, Del. Yeah, thanks I'm just trying to be black, considerate. Man. Oh, shoot, my uh, bad. Was that on camera? Another thing to warm up with is I have this mineral ice because, uh, you know, sometimes, like Kevin, he said, you know, his foot might be aching. I do have bad knees sometimes, so when it's like during the cold season or just sometimes I feel like my knees when I wake up, I would be able to put some mineral ice on my knees to, you know, ease off the pain. Also, I didn't realize, because I, I was wearing it, got to have some extra hats. Sometimes, you know, I don't do my hair for the gym or whatnot. So after I hoop, you know, I just take off all the hair bands and all the hair stuff. I just put a hat on. So you're the stereotype, the one hooping with the hat. I don't hoop with the hat. I hoop with a headband or a hairband. I've seen you hoop with the hat before, guys. No, I'm not in a real game. Oh, yeah, pickleball. Yeah, not even it. in pickleball. Mm. Find me some footage. We'll put it in the next video and you can call me out on it. All right, sounds good. Yeah. I'd make videos with the hat on, but not actually hooping. But because I'm not that stereotype. Hey. Last but not least, uh, I have the same item as Kevin. You gotta have a pump in your bag. So like you, like Kevin just mentioned before, whether your ball's flat or it's too bouncy, you gotta deflate some. That's that. That's what the pump is for. You gotta have a pump. Moving on to the next category, we're gonna go over some of the clothing that we wear to go hooping. First item up, basketball top. Yup. Okay, so uh, I normally like to hoop in tank tops. You know, same whether there. it's some athletic dry fit tank tops. Uh, you know, that's my personal preference. What you got? You got this. Oh, I thought it had, we had the same tank. No, no, but no, you got the same tank as the one I'm wearing right now. Oh, word. Yeah. Man, I, I don't wear it to wear it. I wear it to hoop. Yeah. Well, I'm ready to hoop at any time. So that's why I got this on right now, guys. I'm ready to hoop whenever. I can wear anything. Oh. But I just prefer a, a yeah. basketball tank. Next up, we got basketball shorts. Right? We don't hoop in pants. We hoop in basketball shorts only. Right. I mean, unless you, I don't know, you a real hooper, you wearing anything. But I, I would assume most hoopers will wear basketball shorts when they be hooping. Yeah. But we, uh, we prefer wearing dry fit shorts as well, right? Yeah. As you guys can both see, we both got Nike shorts. I like the, I, my shorts, uh, I like the, you know, mid to like low cut, you know, in terms of the height and the length. But I know a lot of people like to wear the long, the long uh, shorts, but I personally like the, the shorter length. Funny enough, right? When it was a few years ago, I used to like wearing basketball shorts that went right below my kneecap, but now I actually prefer my shorts to be above my kneecap yeah. and actually like in between my mid thigh to my kneecap. Next item up, compression pants. Uh, I personally like the three quarters uh, compression pants, you know, right at the middle. I do have some like actual compression shorts too. I don't mind wearing that, but I feel I like the three quarters a lot is that it helps keep my whole leg warm rather than just my thighs. So personally, uh, just like Nelson was saying, my personal favorite is the three fourths as well. I actually like rolling them up and having right below my kneecaps. So I like my knees covered, but I don't like it too long. But sometimes I wear compression shorts. Sometimes I wear compression pants. So it really depends how I feel, but preference, 80% of the time, I'm wearing compression three-fourths. Next up, guys, we got socks. All right, so this is a part where Nelson and I are different. Mm -hmm. So first off, for me, I'm already wearing a pair of basketball socks when I get to the gym, but the main difference between us two is I have an extra pair of socks for me to change into once I'm done hooping. Right, I just wear the same sock to the gym and after the gym. So I, I go hoop in that sock, I go home in that sock. I don't, I don't carry that many socks around. So another big thing, it depends on where I'm hooping at, how many times I'm gonna hoop. So let's just say, for example, I'm hooping on a Sunday, I got multiple games and there's gaps in between them, right? I actually bring a sock per game. Uh, that's just a personal preference. I like the feeling of new socks. And so if I have like three games on a Sunday and there's gaps in between them, I'm gonna be having three, four pairs of extra socks in my bag. So that's not the norm, but that's just personal preference. It's just a girl, that's why. Huh? And last but not least, I like to carry on an extra shirt with me. If not, I'm already wearing that shirt to the gym. Because a lot of times I could be already ready to go wearing the basketball tank to the gym or to the park, whatever. And then after I'm done hooping, I'm the, the shirt's all drenched in sweat. I don't like to be going out or going home or sitting in my car in a drenched shirt. So I always have that extra shirt to change into whether I'm already wearing it to the gym or you know if I have it in my bag. 
That's definitely the same with me. Good points. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the last and final category, sneakers. I know a lot of you guys are curious on which hoop shoes we be bringing to when we go hooping. Kev, you want to go first? So my go-to shoe at this very moment is actually a throwback. Kobe 6s. All right, guys, All right. so I actually have a lot of Kobe 6s in the vault, brand new pairs, and I've been hooping in this shoe, and it's an amazing hoop shoe. Man, I don't even need to go into why this is such a great shoe, but this is currently my go-to rotation shoe, and it's an awesome performer. That's my all-time favorite hoop shoe. Performance right. hoop shoe, all-time favorite, without a doubt. Have yeah. like 20 pairs of those. All right, so Nelson, what are you hooping in right now? Okay, so my two go-to hoop shoes that I normally like to bring to, to the gym, just in case I'm not feeling one of them, First one is the Kobe AD Mids, man. I really like this shoe. It has good cushioning, it has good traction, and then overall comfort is pretty good. I feel really responsive banging out in these, so you know these are one of the go-tos. The other go-tos, ironically, are the new ADs, you know, because I, I don't be hate, I'm not just because I'm a Kobe fan. I mean, I've got to say the Kobe line has been one of the better hoop shoes for me, and maybe mm -hmm. even for you, you would say the Kobe line sneakers are, you know, best for our player preference in terms of hoop shoes. Yeah, honestly, when you bring up the Kobe ADs, my actual go-to shoe right now, besides the Kobe 6s, is a Kobe AD Low, but right now I do not have a pair in my rotation because the multiple pairs I was hooping in are busted through. But since Nelson showed two pairs, I actually do have a close second rotation shoe. Kobe AD here, right here. Oh yeah, but these are yours, they're not mine. Yeah, but we gotta let them know what shoe you were talking about. Yeah. There you go. A close second rotation shoe for me is actually the Jordan 32 Low. Mm, right? So man, those are clean. That's a clean colorway. The Ferraris. Yeah. So yeah, the last shots uh, inspired well, off the Ferrari right yeah, there. Inspired you know? off the Ferraris, right? Right, right, right. But anyways, the Jordan 32 Low, I actually like the shoe a lot. It caters to my game. The only bad thing about this shoe is sometimes attraction, but mm. everything else about the shoe fits my game perfectly. If I want to hoop serious. These are the two shoes right now. These are the bucket shoes right here, yo. We got a bunch of rotation shoes, but these are the go-to bucket shoes. Hope you guys enjoyed that video on our what's in our basketball bag. A lot of the items that Kevin and I have are really essential to when we are going to the gym or going to play basketball, whether it's indoor, outdoor. We had a lot of the similar items, but at the same time, we had some different items that really caters to our personal needs. Let us know down in the comments below one, are any of the items that we showed you today are the same items that you guys have in your bag? And two, if not, what other items do you guys carry in your basketball bag? Make sure to check out these other videos up here. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our social medias in the description box down below. And until next time, Nelson and Kevin from Hoop Talk, we out. Peace. Peace.